definitely a surprise, you know, when, when it happened. But at the same time, I got super excited knowing that I was coming to the city. What is it that excites you about this opportunity, and how do you think you'll fit in? Un equipo ganador, un equipo que está en la ruta para ir a los playoffs, y para eso uno juega, para ganar. Uh, definitely coming to a, to a winning team, you know, uh, a team that's in, it's on its way to make the playoffs, you know, and, and that's why we play, you know, we play to win. Who else? Sweeney to the right. And when you spend a few years in this division, does your familiarity with pitchers, ballparks, things like that help you? Yes, I think so. Yeah. I play here a lot of years, so that's going to benefit me. Who else? Back to Meredith. When you were first traded, did you reach out to anyone in that clubhouse that you've had previous relationships with? If so, what did they tell you? Ah, uh, yes. I know a couple of those guys, a lot of Latin players here, and even the American guy that I know. But I reached Severino, and that's the first guy I talked to him about it, and he was very excited, too. Edwin, we know you can hit a lot of home runs. This team has Aaron Judge and Giancarlo Stanton coming back soon, too. What do you think it's going to be like to play with those guys and be in the same lineup? I can't wait to see that. He's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I know we, we're we going to hit a lot of homers, and I know we, he's, we're going to win a lot of games, too. Didi said this. He thinks this is the best lineup he's ever been a part of. How do you think with him adding Encarnacion, once you get, obviously, all the guys back, how do you think this lineup will compare to last year? Right. I mean, look, potentially it's obviously a, a, a great lineup. We have a lot of great players, um, but now it's got to go play out. And, uh, you know, obviously <clears throat> got some guys starting to make their way back. You know, Giancarlo tomorrow, Judgey potentially later in the week. So uh, getting two more, you know, elite-level hitters, um, it has a chance to be a special lineup, but that's all it is right now. We got to go out there and continue to perform, and um, but certainly excited about the possibilities of it. When the Encarnacion trade became official, Aaron Boone said Edwin would slide in as the Yankees' primary DH. And as we check out tonight's starting lineup, we see he is batting fifth, right between Gary Sanchez and Didi Gregorius, both of whom were given the day off yesterday. Aaron Hicks was also off on Sunday. He's in the outfield with Brett Gardner and Cameron Maben. The trade deadline is still a month and a half away, but Brian Cashman struck early by acquiring a hitter in Edwin Encarnacion, who could have inspired a bidding war had he remained with Seattle as the deadline moved closer. Today, Cashman talked about the trade, providing our sound of the day, brought to you by your local Volkswagen dealers. We've, uh, you know, obviously been involved in the available market for a while and um, <clears throat> we had known that Edwin Encarnacion was going to be available ever since he got traded over to Seattle this winter and so we kind of kept in touch we've seen what he's done to us over the course of time I mean he's a very patient uh, powerful impact bat and uh, you know his makeup you know, is off the chart. You know, he's very well liked as teammates. So, you know, if there was ever an, a need, as you remember this winter, uh, why to reinforce he was someone that we at least kept in mind was there was a question mark coming into camp, you know, whether Greg Bird or Voight, is Voight real? Is Bird going to be healthy? So then you, you look at potential alternatives, uh, your insurance policies you have in-house, your your potential uh, targets from outside the franchise uh, obviously Luke Voigt's done a fantastic job and so we're lucky to have him and uh, you know Bird's been injured so he was on the verge of being traded you know uh, so we've been playing on if we could get the right fit in terms of uh, cost of acquisition you know we stayed in touch with uh, Hal Steinbrenner and and pled our case of why we felt there was a uh, a lane for him to to pass easy into uh, it would push obviously Stanton to the corner um, with Judge and right him and left Hicks and center Guardy obviously you know uh, is you know then becoming the the 
extra player, so to speak. But again, with the, the interest in arresting people, I think there's a viable way of get everybody consistent playing time of waiting. And Edwin would be playing off of first and DH. Uh, we already see what we've got going on with the infield. Um, we felt it was a real impact bat, not an area of need, but a, an area that does it upgrade us. It does. Does it uh, give us a lot? Us is more importantly, Aaron Boone, a lot of flexibility for coverage on a day in and day out basis. Um, I kind of feel like every day Aaron Boone comes to the, the park, he has a chance to rest somebody of importance that will benefit benefit us moving forward. He has a uh, we have a chance to be covered injury wise because we have alternatives. Uh, he can play matchup in a lot of different ways too. So I. I really felt if the cost of acquisition could come in line with, you know, we, you know, something we could live with, it would be a move that would be prudent to recommend and make. And thankfully, uh, you know, Hal agreed. Uh, then it just came down to us versus whoever the field was in the competition for the player. Uh, and, you know, kind of went through the weekend until we were able to complete it. And, and uh, you know, hopefully it'll be impactful for us. We're excited to have him. And, you know, we got a long, long way to go. So hopefully, you know, he'll be a good addition.